I have great news, everyone. I am now a father. My imaginary anime wife is pregnant with three children. Just kidding. Discord released a new forms feature, and I'm going to show you first how to get it, second, how to use it, and third, how to set it up if you're a server owner. So first off, to actually get the forms channel, you need to have a community server. So just go to your server, click on your server settings, go to enable community, get started, double check these boxes next, next, click all these three boxes, finish setup, and kaboom, we now have a community server, and all you need to do is just create a channel, and if you don't see the forms channel, then you just need to press Control and R to restart Discord, and when you do that, just click on create channel, and now you can create a form channel, call it whatever the heck you want, and create channel. Now, next off, I'm gonna show you how to actually use these form channels because it's actually quite important. First off, if you click on a form channel, it has this new icon. You will see that you have the option to search or create a post. So you can search for uh, active post and you will see that this active post will be searched for and you can click on it and go through the post. And this is just like a forms channel. Now, if you want to create a post, if you look on the right, there are some post guidelines and this is set up by the server staff. So if I go to the support forum, you will see I have post guidelines and if it's really long you can click on see more and it'll pop out this little big window that has all the 30,000 rules that people want you to follow but if you want to make a post all you need to do is click on the new post button and now you enter in a title you enter in your message and once you enter in your message it might ask you to put in a tag and this is depending on how the server owner has set up the forms channel but you may need to enter in a tag so pick the most relevant tag and you can add emojis using the emoji picker and you can add an image up here for a thumbnail I'm just going to add this kind of discord icon here and this kind of acts just like sending a normal image. So if I click on post, you will notice that I will create my new post and it's just going to send this image, but you will have this thumbnail here that allows people to kind of filter through easier. And you'll also notice that the post itself has a default upvote arrow, and this is once again set by the server owner. And down here, you can set more emojis if you want. You can also unfollow the post. So if you have it followed, basically, if someone sends a message, you will get a notification for it. But if you unfollow it, then you don't have to get any notifications. And finally, you can copy the link so you can send it to someone, and when they click on the link, they will be sent to your form post. Now, if you want to get rid of your own post, you can click the three dots on the top and just click close post. But if you click on delete message, it will delete your original message, but it will still leave the form here. And if you want people to stop talking, you can close the post, but this won't actually delete it. And that makes it so that anyone can go in and open up the post again to talk about whatever you posted. So that's how you use forms as a member. Now I'm going to show you how to create your own form channel, how to set up permissions, all kind of the server stuff if you're a server owner. So all you need to do is click on create channel, click form, then I'm going to create video suggestions as a form channel. Then while you're making the form channel, just set it as a private channel and click next, click skip. So now only you have access to setting up this whole entire forms channel. So it prevents people from spamming the heck out of your channel while you're trying to create it. So in your new forms channel, you will have a couple of get started kind of things it wants you to do. Skip the set recommended permissions because we want to set up everything before we release it to the public. So the first thing we're going to do is create guidelines and guidelines are basically kind of like a little prompt that shows up here on the top right that tells people how to use this channel. Chances are people won't read the guidelines, but if some people want to be helpful, you can still create them anyways. So all you need to do is click on either create guidelines or click on this button here and it'll pop up with this window. You can also get to this window by just right clicking on the form channel and clicking edit channel. So now that my guidelines are created, there's something called tags. Now tags are basically ways to filter out certain posts. So if I go back to my server suggestions, we have tags here. If I click on other, it'll filter by posts that are in the other tag new bot, new roles. You can select as many filters as you want, but it just makes it easier to organize. So if I go back, I'm going to create tags that are relevant to video suggestions. Now with some tags, you can make it so that you can only allow moderators to apply that specific tag. And this is good for like marking things as complete or declining some sort of suggestion. Now there is an option of requiring people to select tags when posting, and this is extremely useful for making things organized. However, if you do enable this option, please have some sort of other tag because sometimes people just either can't make sense of your tags or they have some completely whack that you can't put into proper tags and when that happens people will just put in random crap now scrolling down you have a default reaction and this allows you to have some sort of like upvote emoji or a downvote emoji just to give people an idea of like it's something that they approve of or whatever the unfortunate thing is that you can't actually add two emojis so i have an upvote emoji here 
If I try to do a down vote, it doesn't work. You can only have one. Now next up you have slow mode, and this is a little advanced because you have slow mode for both posts, so how often someone can create a forum post. So I'm going to set that to something high, and I highly suggest you having it set to something above 30 minutes, just so you prevent people from exploiting and creating like a thousand forum posts. And then there's slow mode for messages, and this basically just dictates the slow mode for replies in the actual forum post. And finally, the last two options, you can have it as a age-restricted channel, and you have hide after inactive. Activity. And this basically just closes the forum post after a certain amount of time. I would set it to like three days or something. Now I'm going to show you what happens if one week of inactivity happens on a post. Basically what will happen is that it will get closed. So when a post is closed, you won't be able to see it on kind of the main page. However, you can still search for it. So closed post and it should pop up here and you can click on it. And if I click on the three dots, you'll notice it's closed and I have the option of opening the post or deleting the post. Now, if a post is closed just due to inactivity, people can actually open it back up by just talking in there. Now, if I clear my search, you will notice that I now have the closed post and the active post both available on the main page. Now, if you want to make it where no one can reopen the post except for moderators, then you can just right click on a post and click close and lock post. And doing that will make it so that once again, only moderators can open it and they have to find it by using the search function. Now you do have the option of pinning a post, so this active post, I can right click on it and click pin post, and you'll notice that it will be set to the top of the whole entire post list. And as a moderator, I'm actually able to right click and edit the tags of the posts. And finally, if some post is just a troll, I can delete the post and click delete. So finally, you now understand how to use forum post. All you need to do is just click set recommended permissions and turn that bad boy on to everyone. And once you click save, it's now open to the public. You are now able to see all the posts that will be flowing in. Just kidding. It'll take some time for people to get used to this thing. But hopefully this is a pretty good crash course in getting you uh, familiar with the forums channel. Anyways, if you want to post on the video suggestions forums channel, I definitely wouldn't mind. <laughs> I'm totally not asking for video ideas. Anyways, I love you very much. Goodbye.